today we're going to unbox and review the Nestling rechargeable bike light for my Super 73Z1. And that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products like the Nestling rechargeable USB bike light for my Super 73 Z1. Now, it's one of the really cool bikes that are coming out in the industry by Lithium Cycles. And I just want to make sure that I am nice and brightly lit in the summertime. Let's go check this out. So anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. Let's go check out the light. Let the unboxing begin. Now, if you guys are under unaware or under a rock, Lithium Cycles is one of the superstars in electric bikes in the industry. They make great affordable electric bikes. They have the Rosav, they have the V1, the V2. They have the S1, they have the Z, and they have the Z1. If you're looking for a very affordable bike and they have payment plans. So that goes for you. If you're looking for a great way to get around stylish and cool, check out Lithium Cycles. Now this is the Nestling USB light for my Z1. It's a 1200 lumen bicycle headlight. It's waterproof and it's also with a 4400 milliamp battery. Now let's see if we can get this puppy out. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the battery. We have the stand. We have... Ah, that's good. It has a power button. We have USB to USB. We have a strap. We also have the light. Let's take a look. Now this is the Cree headlight. It has a power for 4,400 um, milliamp battery. It's going to last about four hours on 100% brightness. It's going to last on 50% brightness for about eight hours. And on low at 25% brightness, you're going to get 12 hours of playtime. Okay, let's see. It's USB chargeable. This light looks pretty good. It's gonna get very, very hot, but that's okay. Now, you're going to get very good brightness with here. It's made of a very tough material. This is actually aluminum. Hmm, looks like high grade aluminum. And you have the power button right over here. So if you're looking for very good, sturdy light, very affordable, this is only like 20 bucks. Now the lifespan of this is up to 100,000 hours and has four modes. You have 100% brightness, 60% brightness, 25% brightness, and you have 100% strobe as well. So that's gonna be really cool. Now it's visible and very bright, up to 300 meters. You can see this a couple miles away. Now the tempered glass, on the lens is a reflecting 90% of light back. So it's suitable for indoors as well. Now let us take a look and we're going to power this puppy up and uh, see what we got. Let's back in a sec. Okay, let's take a look. So here we have two power actuators for the light you just press. This will go on your handlebar around. Here we have a Velcro mount. We have the 4400 lithium uh, battery. This is the charging cable that you'll plug into your computer to charge. And if you take a look, you'll see that it has an indication. Okay, we have this right here. So when you're charging it up, 
you see that it has an indicator here. So all you do is you plug it up and you'll see an indicating light here. When it's fully charged, you will see that it's fully charged by blue and if it's going to be charged, you'll see it turn red over here. Next, we have here, this is a head mount. Wrap this around your noggin and you'll be good to go. Um, and you put the light right over here, right in here so it can go. Now, here we have the light. So, and also, this is the bike mount that you'll get. You'll see it turn here. We will pop this into our light, like so. And let me turn off the light so you can see exactly what you do. You actuate it through here. Let's turn this puppy off. Okay, so we press. You can see that it's really bright. This is 1200 lumen. And you'll see an indicator or green light here. So if you tap again, you can see the different modes. Really bright. 60%. 25% and off. Really, really bright. This is going to do quite nicely on this bike. And let's show you the bike and mount this puppy up. Back in a sec. Okay, let's take a look. So you put it together like so. This is the bike attachment. You just twist it in until it's solid and stationary. You may need to get it in there at first. Then all you need to do is to loosen this portion here and you'll notice that it just comes out. So this goes around the handlebar. So let's zoom in. I'll show you where the bike is. And this portion here is for the Velcro straps. So all you do is you put this around the base you pop this in, you tug, and then you go around the other side and you're good to go. So let's take a look. Okay, now this is introducing the Lithium Cycles Super 73 Z1. Now what makes this a special bike is it's a 500 watt motor on here and it's the ultimate cruising machine. Now if you wanna look all the offerings that they have, you want to go to www.super73.com or lithiumcycles.com. It'll redirect you there. But this is a very cool, cool bike. So let me show you real quick. You pop the power right over here. You turn this on right over here. And all you need to do is to squeeze the trigger. How cool is that? Now this one has a top speed of about 20 to 23 miles an hour. It's a great, great bike and it's for a great summer fun. Actually, I know a lot of people that ride these things in, this, in the winter time, but check out super73.com. Great folks over there. Now let's grab this light and let's find a good place for it. So I'm thinking that we can put this right over here right over here so all we do is we put this right under here and let me let this hang for a second and all you need to do is to pop it in and once you have it at your desired spot you want to tighten let me get you guys in a better spot. Okay, now it is getting tighter, but you just gotta keep going around. So the more you pull on it, the more it tightens. I'm gonna see how this works for a couple days and if we're looking for something a little bit brighter, 
I'm gonna check something out, something else out. But this is going for $19.99. You can't beat that price. And just enough so that when you're riding, it's not gonna shake on you. Okay, let me get you guys in a better position. So you can see that it's Okay, so all we do is we have it here and all you do is you tighten by twisting right over here. And as you see, this looks pretty secure. Now we're gonna grab this and looks like we're gonna put this right on the fork right over here. Just like that. Okay, so as you can see, the light's right over here, so if you have to actuate it, that's all you need to do right over here. So I'm gonna place this right over here. You put the Velcro strap here. It has a little indentation that you can place here. We go around, we go in, and you need to pull this kind of tight. And we Velcro. Okay, I'm gonna shorten this puppy here, but we just wanna make sure that it's a nice, good position. That looks good, and it's actually sitting right on here. And I think that'll do. I'll, I'll fish this under, and let's take a look. So you have your bike light. Let's turn this off. And, you tap and you're good to go. Let's try with the light off. Pretty cool. And if you need to lean it down some more, all you do is lean it down. It's in a steady position enough that it's not gonna bother you and if you need to tighten any more, you are good to go. We're gonna have the USB port here and I will just go around so it doesn't swing so much. But that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. And if you're looking, once again, for a very, very cool bike by Lithium Cycles, this is the Z1. And I'm gonna be riding this puppy all summer long as well as my V2. So I will give you guys a shout out. Let me know what you think about this light in the description. I'm gonna buy a couple of these to give away to you guys. So let me know what you think. What would you put this light for? Um, on a bike, for work? Let me know in the, in the comments. I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Peace, I'm going for a ride. Now we can ride at night. <laughs>